first thing that I can remember um, is I think a Dizzy Gillespie recording with Johnny Hodges. I don't remember the record, but I remember that song because my dad got you know a jazz compilation gift for some holiday from his office. So he could like drive in the car and he would put this record and he really enjoyed it. And I was like, all the tracks were passing, and then it was like I heard Dizzy Gillespie, and I was like, what is that? So I didn't, you know, um, push my curiosity further at that point. I just remembered that song that I really liked. When I started to play the piano, my teacher uh, for my first lesson, he gave me four um, cassettes. Three of them were of Keith Jarrett. Uh, and one of them was of Bill Evans, and one solo tribute where he plays standards in solo. And in fine print, uh, he wrote on the cassette, here you can see God by himself playing the piano. So he was not objective, <laughs> obviously, he was trying to lead me somewhere, I felt. Uh, but uh, it did feel like that when I first heard it. I was like, what is that? Yohan and I have been working extremely tight together for the last nine years. We met uh, in, in Germany in, like 10 years ago at Jazz Ahead. So I saw him and I, see, I saw a solo show he did. I just ran into him in the hallway and I heard of him and he heard of me, but we never actually met. And I saw him play and I recognized something that, and after the show I said, we, we need to play together. I see what's happening here. Um, this is this is going to be special. So we, you know, he's like my musical brother. He's a, a very important human in my life. The first show is uh, with the Geka, which is a chamber orchestra from Geneva, and we're going to be playing the repertoire of our last record, uh, which mixes classical and jazz. Um, so the orchestra will be playing a baroque repertoire mostly. The Ravel Concerto, and in between there are pieces that mix jazz and, uh, and uh, classical, mostly Baroque, uh, Lully, Rameau, Purcell, and one contemporary tune um, piece by Ives called The Unanswered Question. I think uh, when we were figuring out the program, Niels was like, what if we do something crazy, like uh, introduce you to musicians, uh, German musicians, or uh, people from Hamburg and we had a few names and some of them were, were not available and then I had, we had other names and I was like, you know what, just whoever you think is good, uh, um, let's, let's go for it, I like it. And yeah, it's going to be an adventure. I am Nils Wölker, I am a trumpeter and today I am one of the musicians that Jaron trifft. Every time Jaron calls for me to play with him, I show up. He's one of those musicians where if he calls, you show up. I bewundere ihm, wie er, wie er das alles so im Griff haben kann. Es gefällt mir auch mit ihm, es gefällt mir sehr mit ihm zu spielen. Wir hören verschiedene Lieder, die wir als erstmals zusammenspielen. Aber was am das Schönste mit Musik ist, dass ja, man muss nicht so viel sagen. <lacht> Wow, my first impression was uh, I was kind of, you know, blown away by the architecture and I just got to, to try the piano in the big hall and it's probably the best acoustics I've, I've, I've seen in a concert hall. It makes you want to stay there and just play all the time. This place is magical. The venue, the location, the feeling of the building, it's an incredible feeling. And it, this is not just any place, it's this place with this hall, with these pianos, with this uh, spirit, with these people. My first time here, I've heard a lot about this place. It's got an incredibly good reputation, so I, I wanted to put that on my list of places that I've played. And, you know, it's, I think it's one of the most impressive concert halls I've ever seen in the world. Thanks to Yaron to bring people together, to, to share music like that. I'm so grateful and thankful for this.